Moo! Oh, hi there. I'm Miss Amy from the Hebron Public uh, Branch of the Port County Public Library, and today we are going to read Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. It's the 20th anniversary of this modern classic. So it's by Doreen Cronin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough. The cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left another note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he could hear he heard the cow he heard the cows busy at work. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. The next day, he got another note. I wonder what this one says. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Now the hens want blankets? The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. How's that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. See, there he goes, back to his house. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Hmm, let's see what he says. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. See how that goes over. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Ooh, ultimatum, that's a good word. Ultimatum means like the final decision. This is what we want. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Seth knocked on the door early the next morning and handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and you'll send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Think he's gonna get it? Let's see. The next morning, he got a note. Oh no, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. End page. Looks like they might have got it. So this week, for our craft, to go along with our flip clack moo cow set type book, we are making a cow face. So in your kit that you will get from each, uh, any of the branches that you go to at the Port County Public Library system, you shall get a stick to hold it on, some lovely colorful papers to use, so the black would be for spots, and for the ears, 
The pink would be for the nose, the white would be also for the ears. You get two googly eyes, which you can either use, or if you want to, to make it a true mask, you could cut out eye holes so you could look through it, and you get a paper plate. One thing we do not provide that you might want to use is a crayon. So I just glued all the pieces on. I did use some tape to hold on the stick because it seemed to work easier with the plate that's all around it. But yep, I just glued, made a nose and some spots and the ears and glued it all on with some glue. So I hope you enjoyed this week's crafting story and come back next week to hear another one. Bye!